EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live first-round coverage of the International Challenge. Frank, through the years, there have been some great winners at the Open Championship played at Royal Troon. Well, just in recent uh, history, remember Mark Kalkovec here in the playoff with Wayne Grady and Greg Norman. Um, there was also Todd Hamilton when he beat Ernie Els in the four-hole playoff. And back in 1996, Justin Leonard was to win his Open Championship. Tom Watson also won an Open Championship here. Tom Weisskopf, his only major, that was 1973. The great Arnold Palmer, Bobby Locke, they all won at Royal Troon. Should be pretty good right there on the safe side. Midway through this back nine could use this birdie here at the 14th. Now this putt from 23 feet. That was a good run right there. Almost went in. Uh, at least he's seen the line as it went past the hole. So just replicate that on the way back. And getting ready for the putt. Well, not in contention, but in for par. This is where the drama really starts to pick up. We'll drop you right there at the 15th hole. As we catch up with today's featured golfer, just been holding steady all day long, Frank. A solid round of golf. Um, four of these. That will certainly uh, bode well come the end of the week. That's beyond long. That is a sensational play right there, and you have to think that the, the little helping breeze Gave that a nice boost. He can't be that good. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Oh, it looked like he caught a flyer right there, Frank. Well, I don't know what he caught, but this is way too much. Well, too bad, Frank. That one rolled right off the green. It was just coming out so hot. And he's made it onto the green now. Even par currently. Still even par for the day. Now the lone par five on the back nine, the 16th. And while you might be thinking birdie here, you may want to think again. What are the options off the tee, Frank? Well, really, there's only one option, and that's keep it short of that burn, which is 280 yards. So that makes that 540 yards play that much longer. Nothing wrong with that one. How about 300 yards and in the fairway? Nice position, short grass, second shot. Tasty looking right there, Frank. Just a perfect spot in the fairway. That is prime real estate. How do you get a line like that? Seriously, you could hit any club from there. Really good distance control there, playing well to his strengths. 11 feet away. <laughs> and just slides by and only a tap in left. Good putt. Yeah. 
has his par. Seventeenth here at Royal Troon. This is a very strong par three, isn't it, Frank? Well, if rabbit have if rabbits have teeth, then this is why it's called rabbit. Very, very strong par three. Here's to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. Well, that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. It's that sneaky distance. You can't leave it short, Frank. Oh, and especially right in the middle. Settles in over the putt. Drops it, and he's at even par. Frank, at the 1989 Open Championship, Greg Norman was in great position in that playoff with Mark Kalkovecki, and I believe it was Wayne Grady. What happened to Norman? Well, he started off uh, tremendous in the playoff. The playoff was 1, 2, 17, and 18. He birdied the first and the second hole. Missed the 17th green just on the left. Took three from the edge, which allowed Kalkovecki and Wayne Grady back in. Then took driver up at 18. It bounced just one hop too far and found that bunker on the right side. And of course, the rest was history, and Mark Kalkovecki was crowned the Open champion. And the great white sharks so often so unlucky at major championships. Would be a great look at Birdie. Not a gimme, but well within his range. So close. And yet it still counts for another shot. This for par. That's a par, and that keeps the scorecard clean, still even for the round. Don't forget, second round coverage coming your way tomorrow here on EA Sports for our entire crew. I'm Rich Lerner saying so long for now. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the International Challenge. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navolo, always a treat to be in Scotland, Frank, and at one of the oldest golf clubs in the world, Royal Troon. It's getting close to 150 years old. It was first established all the way back in 1878. Actually, the original golf course only had five holes on it but um, over the open championship roster this has probably been the most uh, successful or provided the most success to american players the last six open championship winners were all american has one of the most famous holes in all of major championship golf the 123 yard par 3 eighth it's known as the postage stamp and one of the legends had had a really nice moment there many years ago the late uh, Gene Sarazen, the squire, you know, had a little ace there, and all televised too. And uh, it was a great way to remember his phenomenal career. Frank couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, just the lie there too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. What a display of shot making this has been, Frank. Oh, that incredible approach shot there. The easiest of birdies coming up. Made par yesterday. This one for birdie. 
Frank, how much does that birdie help the cause? Well, it doesn't look like much right now, Rich, just sneaking inside the top 20. But at the end of the day, that might be the one that turned the tide. And ready to tee off here at the par 4, 391 yards second. Yeah, it's not overly long. Uh, the biggest priority for the players is just avoiding the bunkers. All 11 of them, whether it be with your tee shot or the second hole. But at that modest length, it is very much a birdie hole. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway over 300 yards. Chance to set himself up for a good scoring opportunity with his second shot here. as good as it's going to get. There's going to be no worries about making that one. Back-to-back -back birdies. We'll see. So into the top 15 on the leaderboard with that birdie. A few more, and who knows, maybe top 10 or top 5. Frank, looking at the third, what are the sort of key decisions that you have to make? There's two bunkers down the left. They're not really the issue. They're the burn. That's about 285 yards. This is not a hole, really. You just take the driver out and swing away. Uh, just something that stays up short of that. It's just going to leave you a short iron in. See if he can clip this one perfectly. Drive it in there from about 120 yards. What a shot, perfectly placed right next to the hole. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. Yeah, his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction if he makes this. Needs a few more of those, that was a good birdie. Yeah, this time, that one gets him in the top 10. Here's the first par five on the golf course. It's the fourth hole, Frank. How good of a scoring opportunity is this? Certainly one of the best opportunities on the front side. Uh, there's three bunkers, but really the one that you focus on is the one on the right. If you can carry that, that's certainly the one to take on because that ball will kick a lot further down the fairway. And sometimes you can be left with just a, a mid-iron into this green. Good tee shot right in the fairway and plenty long. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five. His second shot. <laughs> now his third, staring right at the green. didn't take notice of that name until right now, until that eagle. And it started to send a whole ripple through the tournament. There you have it, Frank. The second round is complete. What are your thoughts? Well, I think anybody looking at this leaderboard, anybody in the top ten of that leaderboard uh, is certainly in a good position to win. Uh, quality of the golf there in that first ten is excellent.